Opioid use in the U.S. is rampant. Even though it's known that these medications can be misused, abused, and have significant side effects. Unfortunately, during the spring and summer months, even more opioids will be prescribed as thousands of high school and college students plan to visit an oral surgeon for procedures, including wisdom tooth removal. But patients need to know that they have options in managing the pain. Here with more information on that is board certified oral surgeon, Dr. B.D. Tyner. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Tyner. Thanks for having me, Ebony and Sasha. Now, Dr. Tyner, many of us have had a wisdom tooth pulled and we know that managing the pain is a big concern. It's a concern for healthcare professionals as well. In light of the opioid epidemic, how does this impact the oral surgery community? Well, we know that 80% uh, of young adults, their first exposure to opioids is when they have their wisdom teeth removed. And if given a choice, surveys have shown that 70 to 80% of these patients would opt out for a non-opioid way to manage their pain. And in academic pain management centers, about 10% of patients who are given opioid prescriptions go on to have some abuse or addiction problem. Now, in your practice, you regularly use a non-opioid medication for oral surgery. Tell us about that. So in our practice, um, for the last nine months or so, we've been using a new drug called Expirel. It's a non-opioid way of managing post-operative pain after wisdom tooth extraction. Uh, Expirel is similar to Novocaine, and I'm sure everyone in your audience at some point in time have had their jaw numb for a filling from their dentist. Uh, this is a similar type medication. Uh, it's given, injected in the surgical sites around where the teeth are removed uh, at the end of the procedure uh, while the patient's still under anesthesia. And then that gives long-term pain relief uh, during the next few days uh, during the post-operative phase. And have you seen an increase in more patients asking about non-opioid treatment options in your practice? Well, with the opioid crisis being what it is in the country, uh, patients, you know, through the media, which gained a lot of traction in the media and it's been really publicized, so more patients are asking about, is there any way to manage my post-op pain without having to take opioids? Yes. And where can we get more info? Well, there's a great website. It's called oralsurgeryprep.com. I would encourage uh, patients or parents or caregivers who are contemplating having this surgery this summer, go to that website. There are several suggested questions on there that you can download and print out. Take those questions with you when you go for your preoperative consultation appointment with your surgeon. And just have a frank discussion with him about what kind of pain to expect, how long do I expect to have that pain, and, and what options are available to manage my pain, especially the new option of being able to manage your pain without having to take opioids. Dr. B.D. Tyner, thank you so much for being here today on Coffee with America. Well, thanks for having me.